When, when I came to Balanced View, I was just so relieved to hear that I don't need to work on myself anymore or um, improve myself anymore, but really um, could, could um, allow myself to see the perfection within myself. Hearing things like that, I'm perfect as I am, was in the initially like, wow, something was really compelling to it, but it wasn't my experience of how I perceived myself. And because I was years, years um, training myself to try to improve myself and to change myself, have like certain things that I didn't like about myself, really wanting to change them, things that I liked about myself, wanting to hold on to those and improve those. And um, when I came here for the first time and then just to be invited to just allow myself to relax and put all self-improvement to the side, and just completely relax. And in that, seeing that naturally everything is perfected about myself. Naturally, we just improve ourselves through the power of open intelligence, without contrivance, without needing to force ourselves, just by remaining completely open in every moment. Remaining completely open and relaxed. And what I see in my experience is that, of course, thoughts come about, how, how, how can I maybe do it better or change something, but everything in a complete openness without collapsing into those data. So naturally, a clear seeing of how, what, how we can be of most benefit comes about, and that in, in all areas. So we don't need to contrive anything, we just completely relax and see that we um, naturally know in every moment what would be serving best in each moment. It's our natural capacity. Our natural capacity to see in each moment, each time, place and circumstance, what is of most benefit. It's amazing, just through complete relaxation. Who would have thought that, that we can just completely relax with everything that comes up about us, that we don't need to work on ourselves, that we don't need to change. We don't need to change our data streams in order to be powerful, potent, and completely able to see what is of most benefit. Now, I thought I need to completely change all my thoughts, emotions, and sensations, or at least a few that I thought will limit me to be completely relaxed. And now I was invited to just allow them to be as they are, recognizing that open intelligence, the power to know, is always present. And we can introduce ourselves to open intelligence by just stopping thinking for a moment. When we stop thinking for a moment, we recognize that something is always present, cognizance, aware. Something about us, always stable, always on. Then the next thought comes in and then we see, oh, we don't need to get rid of our thoughts, we don't need to stop thinking, we're just introducing ourselves to open intelligence in that way and knowing that our thoughts and emotions are inseparable of open intelligence, the ground of knowing. So we, in a short moment, we relax completely, body and mind. And these short moments we repeat again and again. Whenever we naturally remember to do so, we can relax body and mind completely. When the thought comes up, or oh, I need to change that emotion or sensation, there we relax completely. Nothing needs to be changed in our experience to recognize open intelligence. Open intelligence and data streams are inseparable. Like the air, and the breeze are inseparable. We cannot separate them out. So also open intelligence and data, and data is all what we can perceive, all our thoughts, emotions, and sensations. Data streams arising as open intelligence. It's the dynamic energy of open intelligence. We're just used to describing it in all kinds of ways, but actually it's just the dynamic energy of open intelligence shining forth. So in, in the, when we recognize open intelligence in all our experience, we see more and more, oh, really nothing needs to change about ourselves. Nothing needs to change, we change the flow of data streams. We can have any kind of data coming up. And we will have all kinds of data coming up about ourselves, about others, um, everything, all thoughts, emotions, sensations, and then we can just completely relax. Complete relaxation. And everybody is so unique. Everybody has their own strengths, gifts and talents. So, of course, we all relax, but we all completely contribute in our own strengths, gifts and talents. We're all so different coming together. But something unites us, that quality of open intelligence. 
that complete ease at all times. That's what our true nature is, it's just to be completely at ease. And in, from that we can be completely potent and powerful. I always thought, okay, how does relaxation and potency and power co come together? But wow, it, it really comes together. Through relaxation we just know exactly in each moment how to deal and how to act and how to be in a circumstance that is of most benefit. It just naturally comes about. We're not longer, our, our actions are not longer motivated by our data streams of maybe wanting something or fearing something, of hope and fear, but rather are aligned with open intelligence, are aligned with the benefit of all. That's our driving force, the benefit of all, completely aligned, just naturally, through complete relaxation. Nothing more is needed. And we all know when we are completely relaxed, then we see clearly. Then we are not blindsided by our data streams, our thoughts, emotions, sensations. Then we can see completely clear. We are just at ease. We are not um, affected by anything that comes up. Nothing can throw us off track. Nothing. Just seeing completely clear. Even if a thought comes up, we are not following after that train of thought. Like when we jump on a train and the train goes off with us. That's how that when we get into all the data stream, we're just taken by the train and off we go. But now from open intelligence, we just hover around and see clearly. We are not fixed into any train tracks anymore. We just see clearly how we want to operate in the world. Seeing just completely clear how to operate in each circumstance. Seeing all data stream in a situation clearly and then honing in exactly how we want to act that will be of most benefit. It's not anymore about acting out our data or being at the whim of our data streams. Like when, when a thought comes up or an emotion comes up and then we're just thinking we need to act on it. No, not at all. We see that we have a choice in each moment. We have that choice in each moment where we can choose how we want to act and see clearly and we choose the benefit of all. That's what we innately want. We want to be of benefit, we want to serve others very naturally. So we might not have known that how to do it when we are just... our data stream took over. But now we know that choice. Now we know we have a choice. I didn't know before that I had the choice. So now I'm seeing, oh wow, I have the choice in every moment to choose open intelligence, to choose benefit basically. My clear seeing, knowing what will be of most benefit, not being washed away from data stream any longer. It's really powerful that choice that we are introduced to. And it's powerful that we um, have the support of the Four Mainstays, which is the support structure we offer here, so that we can really bring that about, that recognition of open intelligence in our everyday life. Something really practical that always will support us, wherever we are. If we are here at the center or at home, we have the four mainstays always at hand. We have it through the short moments that we can take wherever we are. Whatever we are involved with, we can take short moments. Sometimes it's harder to take short moments and to relax and recognize open intelligence. Then we can use the other mainstays, like the trainings. All the, our trainings we offer online as well. Every day that we can log into a video conference and be with the Four Mainstays in a training setting, on a clarity call or other trainings. Everywhere where we are in the world. And that's what I w would suggest when going um, home and where you don't, maybe don't have a community right, right there present face to face. Just use the online um, community as much as you like. M make yourself a plan. Maybe you can also be in touch with your trainer exactly how that plan can look like. That's what I did. I just made myself a plan that I'd just be um, connected and uh, available, showing up. That's what basically I did. I just showed up as much as I could in all forms that the Four Mainstays would allow me. So, so that's really powerful. And then also to be with the media. We have talks that you can download for free on the website in all kinds of different languages as well, or subtitles. So that's really exciting. Books in all different kinds of languages. That, you can just download for free and read. Every evening before you go to bed, read a few sentences or a few pages. Or when you wake up in the morning. I love doing that, just to end the day in that way or with a talk. And um, then of course the community, be in touch with the community, even um, on Facebook, if you're far away. Just 
I love that, seeing everyone on Facebook and just being connected in that way, or through calls. You know, we can be connected in all ways. And each, connect, each time we reach out in either form, we remind ourselves of that powerful um, commitment and powerful choice that we have when we forget. It's natural to forget. That's why we have the Four Mainstays that can support us again and again. So using the Four Mainstays as, as much as we can, that has me, supported me greatly to really integrate the recognition of open intelligence in my everyday life, to really see and, and allow me, myself to make those choices, that choice to rely on open intelligence, the choice for benefit in every moment. Using it really as that, it's, it's very powerful. <laughs>